It's one of the oldest buildings in Tonnerevile, and although the Savoy may not be much to look at now, that's about to change. Q, Dan Robertson and Taylor Taylor, a couple passionate about theatre, want to give the Grade 2 listed building a new lease of life, but it hasn't been easy. Moving into the derelict building in October, they've had to cope with the Welsh winter. The first night was the worst. The first night was, was absolutely horrible. We, we arrived um, and they'd had a flood in the front foyer. We went to bed that night. When we woke up in the morning, the top of the duvet was wet. It was that damp in there, so it was pretty horrible. But, uh, you know, we, we just got on with it. Once you start working and moving things around, you do warm up. And they've certainly been working hard. And the goal, to give the youth of Tanarevile a theatre it not only deserves, but needs. I don't know about deserve only, I think need as well. Need and deserve. Um, you know, somewhere that can be used. A lot of the local um, youngsters I've spoken to, or Haley and I have spoken to, have, have agreed that it's needed and they really can't wait to, to muck in and be part of it. This platform will soon be lowered to become a stage. Dan and Haley hope to attract high-end productions, but the curtain won't close there. They hope many young people from Tonnerevile will be inspired to perform here and bring comedy, music and theatre back to the Savoy. Back to its former glory when it opened as a cinema in 1914 and then a bingo hall in the 1980s. But for the last 10 years it's been derelict and the hope is that the building still has a future. I'm sure that this theatre uh, can survive and can have a good future, just as a lot of the other theatres around the valley, some of the former miners' institutes, whether it be Blackwood, whether it be Park and Dare and so on, uh, actually have not only survived, but have actually blossomed with a variety of, uh, of interests and, and support. And just a few miles down the road, one of those theatres, the Park and Dare, is celebrating its centenary with a programme of commemorative events. Those involved say encouraging the arts in the valleys is important. It does matter. Um, it's, it's their space. It's where they can create work themselves. As we know, there's a very proud amateur tradition of performing arts in this area, and we want that to continue. Back in Tonnerevile, the locals think it will have a positive effect on the community. Yeah, I think it's very good for the community, actually. You know, it's something different, isn't it? You know, it's uh, cause there's nothing in Tonnerevile, I'll be honest with you. It'd be good for the youth because they can uh, get out and do some activities instead of people hanging around out on the streets and different things. Well, it saves people travelling to Cardiff, doesn't it? <laughs> so, I think it's, yeah, it's good. With the opening night fast approaching, the hard work continues at the old bingo hall. But the hope is that Dan and Haley can once again bring a full house to the Savoy. Yola James, CGS News.